Martha Ray, the Hollywood star who became a soldier's hero. Sure, the name Martha Ray may bring to mind comedy sketches, Hollywood films, or that wide mouth smile that graced the screens for decades. She was a remarkable character who referred to herself as Big Mouth. But today, we're diving into a side of Ray you probably never seen on your Saturday afternoon movie marathons. Her fierce loyalty to U.S. troops, and how she became not just an entertainer, but a soldier's soldier in Vietnam. That's right. Martha Ray, the entertainer, had quite the relationship with the military. During the war in Vietnam, she was known as Colonel Maggie, an honorary title given to her by the Army Special Forces and the U.S. Marines. And sure, honorary is nice, but there was nothing honorary about the real respect the soldiers had for her. Officially, she was a civilian. But don't let that fool you. Colonel Maggie could have given Patton a run for his money. The Might of Martha Ray Let's rewind a bit. By the time Vietnam came around, Martha Ray was already a household name. Movies, TV shows, USO tours, but when it came to war, Ray was there and ready to do more than just make the soldiers laugh. She was there to do what needed to be done, and that often meant getting her hands dirty. She wasn't the talent who showed up just to smile and observe. Imagine this. You're in the middle of a hot, dangerous combat zone, but there's no field surgeon in sight. And then, like a wartime fairy godmother, Martha Ray shows up, and not with a wand, but with medical supplies and an attitude that says, I've got you, little brother. You're going to be okay. Oh no, Ray wasn't just a visitor to the front lines. Using her previous training as a nurse, she was actively helping wounded soldiers stay alive, sometimes performing medical care on the spot. She was so deep in the action, she was wounded twice. Gratefully, nothing serious. Now, how she managed to avoid facing charges, practicing medicine without a license, is a mystery that might forever remain locked in the Pentagon's most secretive files, along with the ones on Area 51. But hey, when you're Martha Ray and you've got the military's special operators on your side, sometimes the rules get a little, well, fuzzy. Maggie gets a promotion. Ray was so embedded with the soldiers that she wasn't just given one honorary military title. Oh no, that would have been too easy. Check it out. In 1966, she was named an honorary lieutenant colonel in the Army Special Forces. And yes, that's a pretty big deal for a civilian entertainer, but wait, there's more. A little while later, she was made an honorary full bird colonel in the Marines. This woman didn't mess around. And I know what you're thinking. Wasn't it a bit presumptuous of her to insert herself so deeply into military operations? I mean, if someone tried that today, they'd probably get a stern talking to. Or a court-martial. Or worse. Yet Ray walked in the fine line between audacious and honorable. And she got away with it. Just a soldier. While she entertained the troops, it wasn't just about boosting morale with a few jokes. She was considered one of them because Ray lived with the soldiers, ate with them, and camped out in their conditions. She didn't demand special treatment, no cushy celebrity accommodations, no fancy tents. She was just there to serve, not to be served. And she didn't shy away from danger either. Ray really did fly into active war zones. Something that most people would think twice. No, make that ten times about doing. But for Martha Ray, it was just another day at the job. During Vietnam, she did several six-month tours in active battle zones. The soldiers loved her, and for good reason. She didn't just bring laughter. 
She brought a sense of home to men who were far away from it. She was like a mother, a sister, a friend, and in some cases their last hope for survival. Her deep commitment didn't go unnoticed. President Bill Clinton awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1993, citing her extraordinary service to her country, both on stage and on the battlefield. In retrospect, when Martha Ray passed away in 1994, she was buried with full military honors. The only civilian ever to be buried in the Special Forces Cemetery at Fort Bragg a fitting end for a woman who, in so many ways, had the heart of a soldier. And within this rather surprising report on the adventures of Martha Ray, there is an ounce or two or maybe more of wisdom to be found, but for now let's, let's focus on just this one. Martha Ray shows us that sometimes it's not about following the rules. It's about doing what's right even if it means stepping on a few toes. <laughs> and when it comes to stepping on toes, Martha Ray really did wear combat boots. She chose not to fit the expected role of an entertainer. There was something that compelled Colonel Maggie to do more. So here's the outs. True service? It isn't about following the expected path. It's about stepping up when you're needed, even if it means breaking the mold. Courage and commitment don't require a uniform. Sometimes it just requires an ability to see what needs to be done and the will to make it happen. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little story about Martha Ray, well, give us a like, a subscribe, share it with your friends. Thanks.